Hello everybody and welcome to The Cutting Edge. First of all, I would like to thank my viewers for joining me on this wonderful, wonderful night that I have in store for you all. I'm going to be brief and I'm going to be very, 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 very persistent on how I get my conversations out with you guys. This is Mother Baldwin and I'm signing on. First of all, I would like to say that Oprah has a special of panel of women from Hollywood this week who have grace, who have aged so gracefully since their early 20s. One of them is the lovely Terry Hatcher. Now, Terry Hatcher did this whole thing where she, she went bare skinned and all of that. And we just want to say that Terry Hatcher, you're very, very beautiful. And I want to let you know, Oprah, you're a doll too, honey. Lord, 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 Lord. So I was looking at this interview with Levi Johnston, the baby daddy of the Alaskan, former Alaskan governor's daughter, Sarah Palin. Excuse me, guys. But I just want to know who in their right mind would vote this guy into office. First of all, if he's voting for governor of Wasilia or something, I don't know, maybe I should be the governor of the whole entire America because apparently this guy doesn't know anything about politics and I know Elizabeth Hasselbeck is furious. You know why? Because he's a Republican. But anyways, I just want to talk about this whole thing that I have going on in my life right now about this whole stereotype of quote about gay people. First of all, I would need parents to educate their children on the differences in people when you come outside of your home. Second of all, everybody in America has at least one gay person in their family. And when I say one, I mean one. I don't care if they're woman, man, woman, transgender, transvestite, whatever, honey. You have one. So, this whole this whole issue that I have with parents and their kids, maybe you should explain to your kids that once you step out of your door, this is America. You might see someone like me with red hair and black hair who's dressed as who's dressed as a woman and I'm apparently a man and kids know that so maybe America needs to lighten up a little bit and let these damn kids know what the hell is going on Lord everybody is talking about Sarah Palin's appearance on ABC's Dancing with the Stars where my thing is regardless if Sarah Palin was running for governor of Wisconsin if she's a Republican or Democrat, left, right, whatever, she's still an American. Please treat this woman with the same dignity that you want to be treated with. I mean, the reason why I have a problem with it and I'm not Democrat nor Republican is because us as gay people, we're treated somewhat like Sarah Palin. The only thing is we have been treated like that for hundreds of years. And Republicans, nobody gives a damn about who's in office. We just want to know that our country is being run right, second of all. Another thing that I want to discuss with you guys is, oh my God, what is going on with the ladies of The View? First of all, what, Sherry, let me tell you something. You got your own view, I understand, you has this whole thing, but it seems like everything that the majority agree or come to reconcile with you have something going on where is it till you can't even get your conversations right on how you know sometimes just let me tell you this Sherry Shepard Joy Behar the lady that sits to the right of you sometimes she looks at you like you're crazy and I know you can see this because I know you have watched this previously or before this before I would like to get a shout out to my lovely friend Tyon, who's down in DC now. He's kind of like left the whole Richmond scene, quote, as he would say. Other than that, I would just like to say, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in to what I had to brief you on. I may be back tonight or I may be back tomorrow. But other than that, Mother Baldwin is signing out. Thank you.